Hello my soccer universe, let me step aside, what we have here are all the jerseys in my collection that were actually worn at the 2010 World Cup, I think of no other World Cup I have more jerseys of. And I have to say it's a very special World Cup to me, yes, the action was maybe not quite as vintage, however it was a World Cup where for the first time I made my predictions, I actually published a paper out of that one, so this will always be near and dear to my heart. And as shown here, I have already 13 jerseys from the World Cup. Well, make that 14. Here is another one in there, very well packaged. I found it on Wilhaben. I actually took it out of the first package already and I opened this one and when I got it I thought, really? It's already padded. This is a thick package. There should be only one jersey in there. Are there two by mistake in there? Well, it really wasn't. It is just that there was one package and then there is a second package and I opened that up for you. It's actually quite messy. And here's the third and it's again packaged. Wanna venture a guess which team this could be? Red with some white? actually probably the weirdest team from this entire World Cup because they didn't win many games. However, they won one particular one that made my day back then quite happy. Let's take it out. A little bit more. Uh, that bag is a little bit... It's very well packed. Um, it's even with the tags which I'm very, very happy. And what I'm also happy that this is actually checked out in every way that it's an original. Let me show it to you and it fits very well in my collection for sure. One, two, three. It's the Serbia home jersey. It's the first one in my collection with a cross on it. This was kind of an outstanding design. The one thing that threw me for a sec is A, this tag, but this Slovenia jersey also has this tag, which means this is the cheaper version that was probably sold more in the Balkans. But everything else on this checks out. I even like the price. Dinars. I don't know where the seller bought it, but you know, he bought it a little bit away. The one thing that had me stunned when I got this was the color, because all the other jerseys from Nike, they had kind of this round color that was overlapping. This is a V-neck. I was a little bit stunned about that when I checked it out of the headlines had a v-neck. So that was the only thing if I just touched the crest. This is sturdy. This is an original jersey. I'm really happy with that one. So let's hang it up. There you go, number 14. And to be honest, at this World Cup, while I didn't mind most of the Nike jerseys, I found their design with this little, I still call this stripe here, a band aid add-on a little bit weird. I really liked more most of the Adidas jerseys. So yeah, but it's still a World Cup that's quite good. Interestingly enough, I have now of almost every Nike team at least a jersey. I mean, the obvious one that's missing is of course Portugal and of course New Zealand, which is a little bit of a hole in my collection, I gotta say. But yeah, Serbia added. I'm quite pleased with that one because I think this is one of the last Serbia jerseys that looked really good. That Serbia home jersey that I have from 2018 World Cup right here. Yes, it's a World Cup jersey, but compared it to, I mean, this is just a box standard template and it was also an L, so it was never really fitting me quite well in addition. So yeah, I'll keep this because it was one of the World Cup, but other than that, I never found this a very good Serbia jersey. I like, of course, this one, the away jersey that I have. So these two now will be my go-to Serbia jerseys with this one just kept for the memories, I would say. Can't really believe I have three Serbia jerseys, only two Croatia jerseys. I should have more Croatia jerseys, to be honest. Let's face that one. And yeah, there are other jerseys from this World Cup that I would love to have. As I said, it's a very special World Cup for me. It will happen. Most importantly for me would be probably a Ghana home jersey, because Ghana did so well, although I really like the away jersey even more. So those two Ghana shirts, those would be high on my list. For some reason, all the Uruguay shirts, although the template was a little bit weird. Any case, let me know what you think about this Serbia jersey and my overall World Cup 2010 collection. Of course, the crowning jewel of that one has to be the Iniesta jersey that I got.
quite happy with that one. Also fits Iniesta just retired, so it fits wearing this jersey once again for his most famous moment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and enjoy the international break, and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!